We want to offer a sincere thanks tonight to Larry and Brenda Potterfield and everyone at Midway USA. They are the presenting sponsor of our 28th annual Elm Camp, but as you'll see, that's just the tip of the antler. Let's start with a short video of Larry delivering a message that we can all take to heart. Firearm safety is your responsibility. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. Let's take a look at some basic firearm safety rules. Always keep firearms and ammunition in a secure place away from children. Keep your guns locked securely in a vault with ammunition stored safely out of reach. If you don't have a vault, gun locks are a good option and may be required by law in some areas. Always keep your guns and ammunition out of the reach of children. Remember, kids are pretty creative. For additional safety, always store ammunition out of reach. If you have a loaded gun in your house, make sure it's secure before you leave. Never leave children alone with guns or ammunition, as kids learn by watching adults. Remember, firearm safety is your responsibility. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and that's the way it is. It's now my privilege to invite the Army President and CEO. Please welcome Mr. David Allen. Thank you. Uh, before I get started, can I have everybody let Brandon Bates know how we feel about him being our host, huh? He's a lot prettier in person, isn't he, instead of on TV? Yep. Um, I have a short piece to do right now, but it's... Uh, probably one of the most important pieces that I can cover tonight or any other night. Um, a couple of years ago, we were fortunate enough to have uh, an organization walk into our lives that have absolutely changed our lives, as many of you know. And uh, that's uh, Larry and Brenda Potterfield and the Midway USA uh, organization. Yeah. These folks are absolutely 100% committed to what we're all about. They're all in for conservation and they're all in for the future of our kids and wildlife and where the shooting sports are going and they're extremely important to us. But uh, I'd like to invite up to the stage right now the President and CEO of Midway USA, Mr. Matt Fleming. Thanks, David. I just got a promotion. <laughs> Larry's actually the CEO. I'm, I'm the president. Um, you know, it's just, it's really exciting to be here tonight. Um, Elk Camp is, is a fantastic event, and uh, the, Sunday, or the Saturday night banquet is really a, a special evening. And Midway USA is just absolutely thrilled to be associated with uh, Rocky Mountain Elk and to be an official sponsor of the organization. This is our third year being a sponsor at Elk Camp, but this is our first year where we're an official sponsor of Rocky Mountain Elk, and we're just delighted to be here. Rod, could you go ahead and bring that check up here, please? This check represents Midway USA's commitment, our, our partnership with Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation.
Thank you very much. It wasn't this big last year. Uh, after Larry and I were here last year and, and Brenda, we realized what a special event this was and how important Rocky Mountain Elk was, not just to us personally as hunters and, and outdoors people and also people that make a living in this industry, but really how important Rocky Mountain Elk is to our way of life and, and really our country. Because we need organizations like the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation to sustain our way of life and to really continue to help make our country the great country that it is. Thank you. So we stepped it up this year, and this check is nearly $100,000 more than it was last year because that's how important Rocky Mountain Elk is to us and how important we think it is to our country. So again, I can't tell you how much uh, that we're pleased to be here and to be associated with Elk. And uh, these folks are a great bunch of folks to deal with. David Allen, Rod Tripke, uh, Steve Decker, Bob Swanson, just fantastic folks to be associated with, and, and we couldn't be more pleased. So, so thanks a lot, and thanks to all of you all who are customers out there. We really, really appreciate your business, and uh, I hope everybody has a nice evening. Thank you, Matt. And about that promotion, I'll speak to Larry and see what we can do here. And now I would like to bring up to the stage for uh, another check presentation and a couple of, uh, of awards that we want to give. And um, that is the boss man and his boss, Larry and Brenda Potterfield. I wish you would give them a very warm welcome, please. So Larry and Brenda, on behalf of the Elk Foundation, we want to give you the uh, Outdoor Heritage Award for donating, get this, in excess of $500,000 to the Elk Foundation, which makes them one of our largest single uh, RMEF business partners. And additionally, we want to give you a plaque that's traditional with our Habitat uh, Council. And this plaque uh, signifies your $200,000 uh, donation to our Habitat Partners. So I don't know if uh, you folks from Libby, Montana can do the math, but that's uh, about $700,000, folks, and um, that's significant um, putting your money where your mouth is as far as supporting conservation and youth and shooting sports. And I just can't say enough about these two individuals and the commitment that they bring. So God bless Larry and Brenda Potterfield.
And I'm going to try real hard to see if we can't get Brenda to say a few words. Hi, I'm Brenda Potterfield, and I'm an elk hunter. <laughs> and those of you who are elk hunters, too, know that there's nothing like hearing that elk bugle in the mornings, wondering, is he going to come? Am I going to get him? <clears throat> I appreciate, Larry and I do, everything that you all do to encourage and, and help with the Elk Foundation. Without you all, this money would just be money. Through your volunteer work, through your chapter banquets, th through everything you all do, you make elk possible, and we appreciate it so very much. Thank you. Thank you, and thank the Potterfields. And in just a moment, I'm actually going to ask Mr. Potterfield to join us up here, but I thought I'd tell you a little bit about him. As we welcome him back to the stage, he is the founder and CEO of Midway USA, which started in 1977, and today is one of the largest catalog and internet retailers of sporting goods. He's a world-class leader and one of the most successful businessmen in the sporting goods industry. He led his company to the 2008 Missouri Quality Award and the 2009 Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award for outstanding business operations and performance. He and his wife Brenda are passionate supporters of the NRA, founders of the NRA Roundup Program, and founders of the Friends of NRA Program. The Potterfield family is one of the most generous families in our industry, providing funding for our youth shooting programs in many key conservation groups. He is a lifelong hunter, and as you can see, he's serious about passing on our hunting heritage safely to the next generation. Would you do us the honor one more time in welcoming back to the stage Larry Potterfield of Midway USA. I want to start by telling you my vision for America. My vision for America is that we will always be the greatest nation on earth. We'll be first in freedom, first in democracy, first in education and productivity. We'll be first in ethical conduct and dealings, and we'll be first in generosity. That's my vision for America. Now, you got to know, I'm just a country kid from Missouri. I know this sounds like something from an election year speech. And you know this is an election year. I can't wait till November. I'm not running for office. <laughs> Thank you. But I do believe that to achieve this vision, America needs you good folks with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. And America needs for us to invest more time and more money in developing our youth. Now, I was nine years old when I shot my first duck, 13 when I got my first quail, deer, elk, sheep, and elephant. Well, they all came later. And you know, it was Dad that taught me to hunt and fish when I was just a kid. 
your life experiences probably aren't much different than mine. So here I am as an adult. I'm making and influencing important decisions that impact society today and hopefully for years into the future. My life experiences and value system are sound, just like yours. But the question is, who's going to make the important decisions of tomorrow? Who's going to protect elk habitat 30 years from now? Who's going to support wildlife conservation 40 years from now? And who's going to promote the hunting and shooting sports 50 years from now? Well, of course, the future lies to a very great extent in the decisions of the young folks that are in school today, tomorrow's leaders. And I want to go off script just for a minute and talk about the leadership system that we're putting together with the SAFE program. And I hope you all got a pretty good earful on that here at the show today. That's, that's getting safe activities, shooting activities and firearm safety and hunting conservation message to our young people out in the field. But then I want to talk about the, the wildlife conservation experience, the youth wildlife conservation experience that we, that we introduced last year. And you may have noticed if you were around the show for yesterday, how many kids there were. This would have been Friday. Last year at this show, Brenda and I offered to donate a little money to get this new program started, the Youth Wildlife Conservation Experience. And you know, the idea was just simply to bring in a few busloads of, of school kids, guide them through the exhibit hall, feed them lunch, and give them a formal wildlife conservation message from conservation experts. Wouldn't that be great? Well, David Allen, his staff, and the volunteers, they've been pretty busy. And yesterday, they brought 200 school kids into the convention, toured them through the exhibit hall, fed them lunch, and let them listen to some of the foremost wildlife conservation experts of our time. The idea of last year became a plan, and the plan is now a first-year working program. And the future, if you can see the future, the future looks better already because of the unique experience provided to this very small number of school kids. Thank you. Now, Brenda and I had the great honor of speaking with these kids when we got, uh, when we got into town on Friday. I asked them a question. I said, Anybody here have Facebook? <laughs> well, that was a trick question, of course, and they didn't know it, and all the hands went up like this. And so then I told them to take lots of pictures for their Facebook pages and to be sure and tag RMEF when they posted them and to talk with their parents about their experience. Now, I don't know how many of these kids will communicate their message but the word viral, well, that's going to be a pretty good word as we spread the wildlife conservation message, and we're spreading it to the right group of people. And you know, the Elk Foundation has the endowed funding to do this every year, forever. And if by chance, they can bring in more kids than what there's money for, I suspect we'll find some more money. So I congratulate the Elk Foundation for putting this deal together. And there's more. Dallas Safari Club. They have the first convention of the year. They have a wild, youth wildlife conservation experience. Wild Sheep Foundation, same thing. And if you have the opportunity to go to the National Wild Turkey Federation show in Nashville, the Mule Deer show in Salt Lake City, Pheasants Forever in Kansas City a little bit later this year, 
you'll see that same youth wildlife conservation experience playing out there. Truly, through today's youth, we are going to change the future. I want to give a plug to my good friend and co-worker, Dick Leeper. Is he in the convention here right now, tonight? Dick? I don't know if he's here. Where are you at now? Dick Leeper is the Paul Revere of the 21st century. If you remember before the Revolutionary War, Paul Revere was riding from New York to Philadelphia to Boston. Uh, we didn't have internet back then. Somebody had to spread the word. I believe that Dick Leeper is the single most important person in this whole youth engine today as he hooks together the key conservation groups, as he hooks together the, the Potterfield funding, the Midway USA Foundation, uh, Scholastic Clay Target Program, several state DNRs, several state rifle and pistol clubs. All of these folks are uniting around what I would call this youth movement, certainly that we didn't start, but we're able to pour some money onto and see some just fantastic results from, from folks here at the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. But I want to just give you a little piece of information. This is kind of data rich, so I'm not sure uh, this time of the evening how much of it you're going to pick up on. But you all know that there's about 14 million hunters, and there used to be 20 million. There's about 14 million of us, 309 million people in the country, I believe. Well, you know that the population of America is growing. And you also know that the, the number of hunters or the hunting population is not growing, so it's a percentage of the total. We get a little bit less every year. You also know that life expectancy is 78 years, a little bit longer for, for women, 78 years for men. And that means that 182,000 182, of us hunters go to the happy hunting grounds each year. And I just say, Lord, I'm not ready yet. But the question is, who's going to fill our shoes? Well, each of us as adults, of course, must do our parts for our children and our grandchildren. And collectively, through the missions and the volunteers of our key conservation groups, we must devote significant resources to youth programs to ensure that the adults in our society 30, 40, and 50 years from now will want to maintain the elk habitat, and the elk populations that we're working so very hard to create today. I appreciate your time. Before I close, I want to switch topics just for a second. I want to tell you about this gold jacket that I'm wearing, and I'm sure you've heard this story before. But the NRA gave Brenda and I gold jackets. And I wear it here tonight, hoping that you'll one day get one. They gave them to us because we gave them a lot of money. <laughs> and by gosh, what I'm hoping is that you'll do the same because America needs the National Rifle Association. Yeah. Now, when I spoke about my vision earlier, my last point, my last point was generosity. And that's generosity with time, Generosity with money. Frankly, if you have one or the other, consider yourself fortunate. I've never met anyone who had both. But if you share my vision for America, I ask that you join Brenda and I and share your time and money with those organizations and programs that will change the future to help ensure that America will always be the greatest nation on earth. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA. Thanks for your business.